Okay, guys, so today we're looking at Lesson 22, Session 3, and that's going to be pages 519 and 520 in your book. All right, so first let's start by looking at the example. Okay, so the equation d equals 3t represents the distance, we use d for distance, in kilometers that lava travels in t amount of hours after a volcano erupts. How does the distance the lava travels change for each additional hour that passes? You can use a table and a graph to analyze the relationship. The distance the lava travels depends on how much time has passed. So T is the independent variable and D is the dependent variable. So distance just depends on how much time has passed. Now, so each time the value of T increases by 1, the value of D increases by 3. So with each additional hour, the distance the lava travels increases by 3 kilometers. So number one says choose one point on the graph in the example and explain what the point represents in the context of the situation. So let's look here. I'm going to choose zero, zero. So zero, zero represents the moment the volcano erupts. So that's when no time has passed. And the lava has traveled, traveled zero kilometers. All right, so the equation y equals x plus 8 represents the length y in inches of a sleeping bag for a person who is x amount of inches tall, which ordered pair does not belong on the graph. So which ordered pair does not belong on the graph? So y equals x plus 8. So we're going to look at x and y for each one of these. x, so we move left to right before we move up or down. So we got to do x first and then y. We're going to plug each one of these in. So y equals x plus 8. So 72 equals 64 plus 8. So 8 plus 64 plus 8. 8 plus 4 is 12. So I keep my 2. Very more than 6 plus 1 is 7. So is that one true? Yep. Oh wait. This one does belong on the graph. So it is good. So that's not our answer. All right, let's go to B, 70 and 78. So Y, so 78 equals X, 70 plus 8. Well, we know 70 plus 8 gives me 78, so that one's right. So that can't be our answer because we're looking for the one that does not belong. All right, 72 and 80. So Y equals X plus 8. So Y is 80. And X is 72 plus 8. Does that give me 80? Yep, so that can't be our answer. D. Let's check and make sure. All right, so Y, which is 66, equals X plus 8. So X is 74. 74 plus 8. 74 plus 8 gives me 82. So... This is our correct answer. That is incorrect. All right, so D is your answer. All right, go to page 520 on the back. Go ahead and try this problem on your own, and then come back, and we'll try it together. All right, the equation W equals 20N models the total weight of honey W in pounds that the beekeeper expects to collect from N amount of hives. Graph the relationship modeled by the equation. Include a title on each axis. So we're going to use N. N, it tells us, is the number of hives. So number of hives. All right, number of hives. And then we're going to say that W, so W, 
is the total weight of honey. And we know that we're going to measure total weight of honey in pounds. All right, so I know that the number of hives is going to be smaller than the pounds, so I'm going to count these by two. So start at zero and then origin. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Ooh. And then going up of our y axis, maybe 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. All right, so w, w equals 20 times whatever n is. So if n were 1, that would be 20. If n were 0, 20 times 0 is 0. All right? If n were 2, so 2 times 20 gives me 40. If n were 3, 20 times 3 gives me 60. 20 times 4 gives me 80. All right? And that's as high as my graph goes. So, I'm going to label these as zero point, so zero, zero, and 20, three, 40, oh, oh, should be two, two, 40, three, 60, four, 80. All right. How does the graph show the expected rate of pounds in honey per hive? So from left to right on the graph. You go one unit right. And 20 units up. From one point to the next. This shows that the total weight of honey Increases by 20 pounds per hive. The equation, I'm talking about W equals 20 times N. Shows that the total weight is the unit rate which is 20 over 1 which is also just 20 times the number of hives Not C. how many pounds of honey can the beekeeper expect to collect from six hives so w equals 20 times n when n equals 6. All right, so wherever I see n, I'm going to plug in 6. So w equals 20 times 6. So I get w equals 206, right? No, Miss Smith, I got to put my parentheses. Well, I know that 6 times 2 is 12. I'm going to have a 0, so I'm going to add it to the end. So I get w equals 120. So I know the keeper can expect to collect 120 pounds of honey. At number four, 
An online company sells watches with different prices. The ordering system uses the equation C equals P plus $7.50 to determine the total cost C, including shipping for a watch with the price of P amount of dollars. Identify the independent variable and the dependent variable. So independent equals and dependent equals. So does the price of the watch depend on the total cost or does the total cost depend on the price of the watch? The total cost depends, so C, total cost depends on the price of the watch. The price of the watch is independent. Right, use the equation to complete the table. So we're given the equation C equals P plus $7.50. So cost equals P plus $7.50. So 14.00 plus $7.50. 3 plus 0 is 0, 5 plus 0 is 5, bring down my decimal, 7 plus 4, 11, 1 plus 1 is 2, so I get $21.50, first block. All right, now if we know the cost, I'm not even speaking of Use this up here. All right, so C equals P plus 7.50. We know that the cost is $26.50 equals P plus $7.50. Now our goal is to isolate the variable. How do we isolate the variable? We use inverse operations. So the inverse operation would be subtraction. Subtract that number. It cancels out. Now what I do to one side, I got to do the other. And when I'm adding or subtracting, Decimals, I have to line up my decimals, so I've got to line up my place that I use. Right, 0 minus 0 is 0, 5 minus 0 is 0, 3 minus decimal, 6 minus 7, can't do it. So i got to go to my neighbor and borrow. 2 becomes 1, 6 becomes 16, so 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So I get 9, 1 minus 0 is 1. So I get $19. 19, 0. All right, next we have... $21, so C equals P plus $7.50. We know P is $21 plus $7.5. So I'm going to move this down here, and I'm just going to add it. Yes. And my zero, we line up those decimals. So C equals 0 plus 0 is 0. 0 plus 5 is 5. We know our decimal. 1 plus 7 is 8. And 2 plus nothing is 2. So you get... $28.50. Alright, the next one, last one. C equals P plus $7.50. Alright, and we know that C equals $35.50. Gotta isolate my variable. How do I isolate the variable? I have to use inverse operations. We're given addition, so we need to use subtraction. I'm going to subtract $7.50 because that's what's going to get you by itself. Now I can't just get rid of it. What I do to one side, I've got to do the other. When I'm adding or subtracting decimals, I've got to line up my place values. So I'm subtracting. 0 minus 0 is 0. 5 minus 0 is 0. 5 minus 7. Nope, can't do it. Got to go next door and borrow. 3 becomes 2. 5 becomes 15. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I get 8. 2 minus 0 is 2. Bring my decimal down, I get $28. All right, last question. How does the total cost change when the price of a watch decreases by $1? So how does the total cost change when the price of a watch decreases by $1? So price of watch. And total cost. So P and C. Alright, so if the price of the watch, so one dollar decreases by one dollar, so fourteen minus one is thirteen dollars. Alright. P plus seven fifty, so thirteen plus seven fifty would give me twenty dollars and fifty cents. Alright, the next one we have nineteen dollars. The total The 
price of the watch decreases. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about C. No way. When the price of the watch decreases by one, then the total cost decreases by one dollar. So make sure you get that one. So we change that. Twenty-one fifty. Twenty dollars and fifty cents. Fourteen dollars. Thirteen dollars. So the, when we change the price of the watch by one dollar. The total cost goes down by $1 as well. So that's the end of pages 519 and 520 in your book.